Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Maison African Motives. Uh, still working on engineering science and two, uh, still on the question paper of August 2021, now working on electricity. So we shall focus on this question. So guys, if you're new to this channel, you can consider subscribing so that you become part of the family. And also don't forget to share our videos to your friends and colleagues so that they also can benefit uh, from this information that we are having from Mason African Motives. So we shall quickly rush through the question that we are given, which is on electricity. That is on question nine. So we are given on question nine on electricity. 9.1, what is the relationship between current and resistance? So we are given to state a relationship between the two current and resistance. So this one, guys, we can actually take it because we know that uh, current actually is equivalent to the voltage over the resistance. So as you can see, these two, they are inversely proportional, or we can say indirectly proportional to each other. Uh, that is the relationship. So that is what you can write, guys, in words. Uh, current is equivalent to voltage over resistance. So which means they are inversely or they are indirectly proportional to each other. So that is um, what you are being given there. So let's see another question, which is on 9.2. You're given to name three disadvantages of induction. What can be these disadvantages of induction? All right, so I've got uh, these disadvantages here, guys, that uh, we can discuss on. Uh, that is... Um, Induction causes the brushes of motors to spark. Uh, eddy currents produced cause heat. We've got electronic apparatus can be damaged by lightning at a distance. Okay. May cause malfunctioning of electronic apparatus, which is uh, the instruments which are being used for, for, for that. They can be malfunctioning, that is, cannot function properly with the due season or with due time. All right, then on 9.3, we are given a simple DC circuit is a supply voltage of 12 volts and R1, resistor R13 ohms is connected in series with the supply. Take note, it's connected in series with the supply. There is, this resistor is connected in series with two resistors R1 and R2 connected in parallel to each other. All right, I always say, Whenever you are working on question or which is an electrical circuit, which is a DC circuit, it's best for you to have a sketch of the circuit that you're going to use to calculate whatever that you are given here. Okay, so let's just have a sketch. So this is a simple DC circuit on 9.3. So you're just going to have uh, the voltage source. Let's say this is our voltage source like this. All right. So on the voltage source that we are having of 12 volts here, we're given a voltage source of 12 volts, which is our V, it's 12 volts there. We have a resistor R1, which is connected in series. So let's say this is our R1 like this. All right, that's our resistor R1 of three ohms. So this is our resistor in series. Then further, this resistor is then connected to two resistors which are in parallel. So how can we connect these two resistors in parallel. Okay, let's just see if something like this uh, so that it can go back here so that we can connect our resistors together in parallel like this. Well, these two resistors are in parallel. So this is something like this, guys. These are the two resistors which are in parallel like this. So we can connect back to the source. All right, so now it's something like this. So now it can make sense. So these are the two resistors in parallel. That's R2 and R3. So now we can just write the values of the resistors because we are given the values there. R2 is 6 ohms. We are given R2, which is 6 ohms. So this is 6 ohms like this. R3 is 4 ohms. So here we are given 4 ohms like that. All right. So that can be a circuit. So the question is calculate each of the following, the effective resistance of the circuit. So the effective resistance of the circuit, we are simply talking about uh, 
the total resistance that is going to affect the circuit. That is the effective resistance, okay? That's the total resistance of the circuit. So let's analyze what we have on the diagram here. From this circuit, we have got a series connected to parallel resistance. So that's what we are having, R1 connected to parallel resistance here. So which means we shall have something like this on our formula. Uh, that's 9.31. That's RT, that's the effective. So we've got the R1, the one that we said is in series to the parallel circuit, this one. So you're going to add the parallel circuit. So the parallel circuit, we just write it like R parallel like this. All right. Now, what are we going to have? We know that for the parallel circuit, we are going to multiply product over sum. Remember that that's R1, which is R2 in this case, and R3. So it's R2 by R3 over the sum, which is R2 plus R3. Remember, guys, from product over sum. Product over sum of resistors. So it's product of resistors over the sum of resistors. So we can have our R parallel using this formula all right so we're going to multiply r2 and r3 we add r2 and r3 but r1 just take it as it is here so which means our rt is going to be r1 as it is which is 3 ohms so we've got 3 plus this parallel circuit now the total resistance of the parallel circuit which you said you're going to use product over sum so it's 6 by 4 over 6 plus 4. All right, so you're going to multiply. That's product 6 times 4 over some 6 plus 4. That is the concept, guys. So what are we going to obtain now? That's the question. So let's try and uh, simplify this part first. Using our product over sum, you can use our calculator 6 times 4 over 6. It's going to be 24 over 10, which is something like 2,4. But your calculator can just give you the exact value there. So adding also from your calculator, you're going to obtain 5,4 ohms. This is resistance. So we've got the total resistance of the circuit, which is the effective resistance of the circuit that you're given. Effective resistance. The total resistance of the circuit is simply one and the same thing. So that's what you are, how you are supposed to attempt these uh, typical questions. If you have a diagram, as you can see, it's uh, quite easier to approach the question. Okay, what about this one now? We need uh, the total current flowing through the circuit. What is going to be the total current that is going to flow through the circuit? So this is the current that is going to affect everything in the circuit remember uh, the current is it current flows from the positive like that so we're going to have the total current so as long we have got the total voltage and the total resistance because the total resistance is there we can obtain the total current so what is going to be the formula now okay so this is 9.32 so we've got the total current which is equal to the total voltage over the total resistance in this case so if you are to cross check the total voltage which is this one v that is the total voltage of 12 volts so i'm going to have 12 volts over the total resistance so total resistance we wrote it here yeah we got it here this is our total resistance which is uh 5,4 ohms so this is what you're gonna use so divide by 5,4 what are you going to have now? 2,2,2,2,2,2,2, and so on. So this is going to be something like that. So you can just round off to three decimal places, which is going to be 2,2,2 two, two, two amps. All right, so that's your total current IT. So this is I just, just like IT like that. But if you write like this, like a one, so you just put like this to show capital letter I. But I don't know the way that is, is good for you. Uh, that's how you're going to write it, OK? So don't freak out about that sign. Uh, you just write the one that you are good at. OK, let's, let's see another question. What do we have here? The current that is going to be flowing 
through 6 ohm resistor okay so which means we have to locate this 6 ohm resistor from our circuit where is our 6 ohm 6 ohm this is one here which is part of the parallel circuit all right so there is something that we should know in a parallel circuit we know that in a parallel circuit that v parallel is the same so using that advantage that the voltage is the same in a parallel circuit so which means we are going to we can use that as an advantage to calculate the current that is going to flow in the 6 ohm resistor so I, let me just first write the formula down so that we can now apply this together so i'm just going to use this the current which is in the 6 ohm resistor this is 9.33 9.33 is going to be the voltage which is of the parallel circuit because we said is the same the voltage is the same divide by the resistor which is this 6 ohm but this is what r2 so i'm just going to write it as r2 like this all right so where now are we going to have this v parallel okay there's something that is good about it the current that flows here is the same so the current that is going to flow here is going to be the same that is going to flow even here throughout the circuit so which means to find v parallel we are going to use the total because these two resistors can be combined to give us r parallel so which means the total current times the r parallel is going to give us the v parallel because remember current times resistance is voltage so which means v parallel can be obtained from the total current times r parallel all right so where is our total current the total current is the one that we just calculated which gave us 2,222 something like that this one that is our total current so you're going to have 2,222 times the resistor that we have in the parallel circuit so it's the advantage you see the advantage of simplifying these when you are working stage by stage you can see cross check here other parallel this is here and after this stage this is where we got here this value here so this is the value that you're going to take 2,4 from other parallel so this is 2,4 something like that all right so what am i going to obtain i'm going to obtain something like uh, 5,3328 something like that all right so since i'm giving my answers to two decimal to three decimal places i'm going to just round off to three decimal places again which is going to be 5,333 volts okay but this is not enough because i'm calculating v parallel which is the one that i need to substitute here so that i can obtain the current which flows in the 6 ohm resistor so it's going to be v parallel which is this part 5,333 three, three, like that divide by R2 which is the resistor which is R2 is the one that you're talking about which is the 6 ohm resistor so definitely you can just divide these two and obtain an endless decimal of 0, 0,88 I mean 8 of these are 4 8, 3, 3, 3, 3, something like that okay so back to three decimal places is going to be 0, 0,1238 is going to change this 8 into 9 so it will be 889 eight, and this is current tech node current is measured in what in amps so it's just going to be a because it's amps current units for current it's amps but you just write it as calculator a like that so that's how they ask this question so as you can see you might not be given a condition for you to draw the diagram as you can see in this case we are not given that condition to draw the diagram but it's always best whenever you are working with the calculations to draw the diagram. The diagram is going to give you now a better in a way to calculate whatever information that you want to calculate. So that's how they ask these questions, guys. Um, we shall be working with more questions from Amazon African Motives. Uh, we shall be working with more question papers and revisions. So that's it, guys. Let's just continue to share this platform of our videos to your friends and colleagues also that they can benefit from this information till we meet again.